Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and if you're new, welcome to the channel. My name's Karen Rowley. Yes, I am back. Um sorry for the long wait. Um I was just sort of the reason is is because uh in my last sort of live stream video um I was just a bit worried about going back to school and all of that. Um I'm fine now. Uh as I as I did say in the stream, I was like, Oh a couple of weeks time or a month time, I'll be fine. Um yeah, I do, yeah, that the reason why I had a long wait is just going back to school, getting used to it and everything. Um, I do have a few videos uh, prepped, and I need to do them. This is one of them, but yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm back. Sorry for the long wait, and let's get on with the video. So, a little bit of history. Um, when I first got my model train, um... I started to get more and more and more and more. Then I got my first Hombi train set, and then I got more track and trains from my, one of my friend's granddad. Uh, he gave me lots and lots of track and trains. And most of the trains that you see in my videos, um, well, yeah, videos, uh, are actually from the Triang era. And these, I think they're either just before, no, not just before. I think they're just a little bit after Triang, so sort of still in that era, but they're not Triang-ish. Like you get what I mean. They're that sort of they're that age. Um, they're original, but they're not Triang as such. They're still they're just Hornby. Uh, but yeah, it is my. Uh, so yeah, um, with my trains, I do have uh, model trains from the LNR, LMS and Great Western. And I don't have anything from the Southern Ra Railway. Southern Railway. Um, <coughs> and the only thing that I have had are coaches. I haven't had a locomotive. But I've got three coaches with me today. And I'll just show you them. Here they are, two um, coaches. This one's a brake coach. It's okay, that's fine. It landed on something soft. It, it, I know it didn't sound like it, but it did land on something soft. And also it's in the box, so it's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm only gonna show you two because um, I've got two uh, composite coaches. So they're exactly the same, so I might as well show you one. And red coach. So let's start with the brake coach. So this is the box. You know, it's quite. You know, it's original. They are original. Uh, made in England by Hornby Hobbies. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. So it's made in England. That shows how old it is. Uh, OO gauge models, Hornby Railways, as it says there. And then on the box, it has the information on what it is. R.432, that doesn't really matter. SR Coach Brake 3rd. So it's a brake coach and it's 3rd class. So, just get out of the box. Come on, out you come. Oh, it's caught on that level. The reveal. I, I love the smell of new bike coaches. Yeah, it, just, it has that sort of cardboard like new smell. I know that may look a bit weird, me smelling the coaches, but I just love the smell. But uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, nice Southern Railway coach. Back in the day, um, with the like sort of triangle range, uh, this would have been classed as a really high detailed coach, so they wouldn't have had a railroad era, or railroad range, I don't think. So... Um, this design now is the railroad range, sort of style of coach. Like they use this for quite a lot for the Southern Railway, Great Western and all that. But uh, yeah, back in the day this would have been a premium coach. So it would have been the highest detail, the only sort of Southern coach you could get really. Because uh, I think most of the sort of triangle range now is the railroad range 
today because it's not as highly detailed and it's not as highly priced as um, so yeah this is it uh, as you can see on the doors there it has third and then halfway I think it's there it has uh, southern and then railway it does on this side yep it has southern railway um, lined in a really nice gold and it just looks so smart with the green and then on the doors yeah on the doors here it says guard and then it says oh guard what's that guard lounge ah oh, okay so it's not a lounge like a lounge in the house it was just called a lounge because that's where the guard would always be and it'd sort of in a way live there because it'd be on the train it'd be on this section here um and he'd go up and down the train check the tickets um I think no it's a different person actually I forget that uh, but yeah, on the old coaches when they didn't have doors, um, the guards would just stay in this coach, but the brakes on the train were all connected uh, by air, so the air brakes. And there's two brakes in there, there's the handbrake, which would just put the brake on this coach, um, you know, the wheels on these coaches, so all eight wheels would have the brake on. And there's the emergency brake, where it's, when, when you pull it, it's a red lever, when you pull it around, that sends air to all the brakes in the coaches through like a uh, pipe uh, like leather, well not leather but it's just a pipe and it would uh, automatically just clamp the brakes up against the wheels because what the design is is the air, oh no actually the brakes are clamped onto the wheels unless air is running to them so the air takes them off the wheels, not a lot but just so there's enough gap to let the wheel roll and if the air is cut off from there the brakes slam on and keep on and it's quite a lot of pressure on those wheels so they are sometimes they do lock up and it's just like skidding along sometimes the um, brakes sort of uh, press against the wheel and it just sort of scrapes on the wheel um, it's rare that they would lock up but that did happen um, but yeah, let's go into the detail. So on the bogies you have all the springs and so it's shaky. I'll just hold it. So yeah, on the bogies you have all the um springs and rivets and everything on there. And the wheels are all the tires on the wheels are metal, just so they don't pick up dirt or anything. And the inner bit of the wheel is plastic and that does look quite nice it looks like it has lining like a white lining on the wheels um, <clears throat> I've just noticed right now this set of wheels here are actually different to this one <clears throat> the um, looks like an older one because the flange well the wheels just look thicker the flange is a lot more bulky and the uh, it has three little holes in it where oh these were actually been worn by the British Rail Mark 1 so yeah and then you have all the doors on this side this would have been where <clears throat> little compartments so if you look in this side on the big windows you can see like little white poles those would be the compartments so you'd have a corridor w one side and then a bigger bit on and then a bigger bit on the other side where all the seats and everyone would sit and then there'd be doors on each side you know just so um, if it's pulling into a station on the platforms this side, get off that side, this side, get off that side. No, both sides. Um, so yeah, that's why it's different on either side. This bit's the corridor. That goes all the way along the length of the train to the doors on the end. Um, and speaking of the doors, it's really, it's basic, but it's there. Uh, you have the handrails on this side. It is moulded. Everything is moulded. Then you have the steps to go onto the roof to... I don't know, maintain it or stuff. Um, you have the little windows and doors, which I don't think these coaches would have had because it is just the standard coach that they use. You have the buffer beam, which is really basic. There's no hook or riveting, but um, it is there. And then on the running board, if you could call it that, you have the little sort of step that you could step onto. Really quite nice. The roof uh, has little vents and everything on it. And this bit here, like the little sort of line 
that so when the rain would go on the coach it didn't trickle off the side and onto your head when you get off it just sort of hits that and just sort of runs alongside and goes off the side of the coach not on your head so yeah that's brake coach and then composite coach uh the brake coach is third class so it's more it's not as luxurious not as luxurious luxurious i can i can't say english today uh, it's less luxurious i'm just gonna say that now. it's not as sort of high class it's not um as expensive it's a lot cheaper and um i mean it's still good like it was decent but it wasn't as sort of posh it wasn't like didn't have carpet it was wooden planked uh seats it wasn't as good but you know at least you got a ride on the train and you had the roof over your head so good composite coach what also what composite means is that it's half of one class and half the other so up to about here uh this side is third class so you know less less i can't say words third class here and then first class and as you can see if i just go to this side yes it sort of looks like a brake coach because the doors are more spaced out but that's how it was because with first class it was like carpet on the floor padded seats and you had armrests and it was sectioned off and you had pictures you had really nice wallpaper well it was probably actually you know carpet material you had more leg room it was really quite nice but it was really expensive it was for the more richer people but yeah so that's why they're further apart uh, same sort of design as the brake coach because it is all well, the same sort of coach but um, yeah you have the third class here and then you have the first here and I thought on the laptop then never mind um, so yeah same again bogies have the same detail so do the doors so does the roof um, except from they both have these little box squares on I don't know what they are. If you do know what they are or have an idea, let me know in the comments. Because. I don't know. Could there be hatches or. I don't know. And on this coach, as you might have seen, there's white windows on either end. And this may sound ridiculous, but they are toilets. Yes, they are toilets on the train, but there's no tankers for it to go in like a portable loo. What happens is, this may sound a bit disgusting, so if, you, if you're not in, well, if you don't like listening to this sort of stuff, just skip to the part where I don't, uh, well, well, where I finish. But yeah, uh, there's no tankers, like, underneath the coach, so what happens is, um, you do your business, and you flush the toilet when it's going along. Don't do it when it's standing still. Nasty. So when it's going along, flush the toilet. And it sort of comes out the bottom of the coach um, somewhere. It's not on this one. But it'll come out the bottom of the coach and land on the track. I know that sound I know that may sound a bit weird and badly designed, but in the end who's gonna walk on the track? Who's gonna notice the track? Like all you want to do is get from A to B done. You don't really, you know, care about that sort of stuff. So when you're going along, just don't Word of advice, don't use the toilet on a train when it's standing still. On an old one. Um, you can use it, it... I don't even know if I have toilets on modern trains. I presume they do. But yeah, on all the trains like this, don't don't flush the toilet when... Yeah, you get what I mean. Uh, the undercarriage, the dum dum tish. Uh, has lots of detail. You have the boxes here. I don't know if that's storage or generator or something. You have all the piping along here. You have the sort of brake... Are they? Mm, I don't know what they are. Uh, I think there's some sort of brake cylinder things or something to do with the brakes. Um, but yeah, it is really quite nice. This bit here, uh, the typical sort of standard bit on, like you see on the coach, where it just go down like that, and you have two things. That's just for support. That's just for support on the middle bit of the coach. Because you have the support of the bogies here, and then this bit here would just like it would literally bend like that. It'd be like a really faint U shape, um, well not a faint one, but you definitely see it on the side. 
so that bit is there just to stop it from bending it's a bit more like strength and so yeah and they do have their own numbers this one's one three eight four just above my finger just there one one three eight four one four oh five that's on the brake coach and on the other one is one three eight four oh no yeah Oh, these are exactly the same then. They have the same number and everything. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter. At least I've got three. Um, I mean, they're really tight. I've only just noticed them now. I've only just noticed the numbers, so, you know. Yeah, composite coach, really quite nice. Uh, they haven't been run yet. Uh, I haven't run them here. I've only, uh, Today, well, this weekend, I'm going to my dad's, which is where all my trains are. So either Saturday or Sunday there'll be a video of these going round behind the locomotive. I don't know what locomotive. Um but yeah, I don't have any I don't have a southern locomotive, which is a shame because um I have southern coaches but it doesn't really fit with anything. Because I do have British Rail Mark ones, but they're in sort of they have a Great Western livery, maroon livery, which is for the LMS. And I just have London Custard, which I use for all of them. I do have an LNER coach as well. Like an actual LNER teak. So, yeah. Two really nice coaches. Well, three, because this one's exactly the same. Two, well, three really nice coaches. Two are shown here. Uh, they are original. They're in original boxes. This probably, well, tenth time that I've opened them, because I just... It's like my 9F when I first got that, they're just so brilliant to look at. Which box is this? That's composite. So, yeah. Uh, they are really, really nice. Um, if you don't have anything from the Southern Railway, like from model form, I definitely re recommend uh, Mortal coaches, these are called Mortal. If you want to look more into that, just go to the Hornby website. Um, just type in Hornby on Google and it'll come up. Uh, just type in it on there and then, well, if you have a Hornby catalog, uh, or if you don't get that, and they have coaches in there, not from this era, like the more, I mean, they do have the railroad ones, which are pretty much these ones. I don't think they have the lining though. But if you do want to get those, just go to the Hornby website. I do recommend having, like, them, because if you have, like, all the other sorts of coaches. I think the green just looks really quite nice. For me anyway, it's my opinion. If you don't if you're not into trains then that's completely fine. But yeah, I always put them in this uh cardboard boxing so that's how I got them for my birthday. I wasn't expecting three actually, but I got them. And I'm happy that I've got them. So yeah in the box secure and yeah so um yeah that that's one video that I can tick off my bucket list I'm joking I don't have that um but yeah uh, I, I'll end this video here uh, let me know in the comments anything that you know about these coaches or any questions that you want me to answer um and any video ideas that you want me to uh read in the comment section down below that was smooth uh, if you do like my videos please give me a good thumbs up and don't forget to hit notification bell just so you don't miss any of my new videos and don't forget to subscribe